Today I will be reviewing the brand new movie called San Andreas. When I got admit, I when I when I was walking into this into the movie theaters or the cinema, whatever you call it, uh, I was just wondering. I just I really hoped that I liked this movie. I thought I, I thought I wasn't. Well, I just because when I run the reviews, they were gonna they were like, oh, this is so bad. You shouldn't see it. Ah, uh, and then other people were saying, oh my gosh, this is so good. You have to see this. Which I was just so confused. Which side should I choose? And I gotta admit, this movie is actually pretty good. And it's a very fun movie. But the only problems I have with I'll get with later. Now I just want to talk about what's good with the movie. So yeah, let's start with my favorite part, the disaster scenes. The disaster scenes, I'll give it a 10 out of 10 or 9.5 out of 10 rating. The disaster movies are, no not the disaster movies, well, the disaster scenes in, the, in this movie are awesome. You. You would be just shocked how good a disaster scene it is. And if you've seen the trailer, you'd probably, you'd probably be like, eh, that's just going to be another disaster movie. But when you actually see the disaster movie, you are, you are actually like, whoa, these scenes are so action-packed on the big screen. It's because, please see this on the big screen. It would, it would be a lot better if you see these dis awesome disaster scenes on the big screen. Because don't just wait till it get it gets on Blu-ray or DVD. Because I know I know it still looks really cool on your HD TV or whatever size TV you have. But if you but if you want to see the uh, the disaster scenes action packed and awesome, just go to just go to cinema to just see it right now. It's an awesome movie. And the disaster scenes has to be seen in cinema. And then it'll be awesome. So I'll give the disaster scenes a A, A plus. No, not. Well, A plus, 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 plus. I'll give it how many pluses I want. This, the disaster scenes are awesome. But the, 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 the well, the disaster scenes are gonna keep me away when I have to talk about the bad stuff in the movie. You're probably thinking, well, I have to see this movie right now because the disaster scenes are gonna be good. Well, I have something else I gotta talk about which is pretty bad about this movie. The dialogue. The dialogue is just awful. Awful. Awful, awful, awful. I mean, it, some of the dialogue is just so boring. Like, I, like, can you just come up with some better di dialogue? I gotta admit, some of the dialogue is okay or decent or could just fit in a movie. But some of them are just really boring. Like, tons of them are just so boring. In the beginning, which this is part of the bad stuff, I was just so bored. I mean, there was some disaster scenes in the beginning, but... I was just so bored to end the dialogue, like when this person goes to San Francisco. I was just so bored during that. I was so bored when people kept talking to other people. I was like, come on, I just want to see something that they're talking about the earthquakes. I mean, I don't want to see people just talking to other people, not about anything. I was just so bored during uh, during the beginning. Because it's just, it's just, I wish it had some, I just really wished that, that it was actually more better. Which, the dialogue in the beginning was awful. I mean, in the middle, it started getting, it started picking up. In the, in the ending, it was pretty good. I, I mean, it wasn't good, it was just decent. But, the dialogue in this movie isn't really good. And the dialogue in the beginning is just so boring. Like, I really wish they could just talk about earthquakes, but then they're talking about something else. Okay, you probably like that they're, they're actually talking about what, they're trying to talk about the story, but just to me, I just couldn't concentrate. There was even people all, all around sitting in their seats just talking. That's how bored it is in the beginning. But, I mean, there is two scenes that are acts 
that are that are pretty action packed in the beginning. But they're awesome. But after those two action packed scenes, it just gets boring. But but then there's another action or disaster scene or action packed scene and it would be awesome and then the movie starts getting better. And I got and I gotta admit, this movie is sort of unique from other disaster movies. It just doesn't feel like another disaster movie. Probably because this is this is like my second disaster movie in cinema, which um which my first went into the storm. It sort of reminded me of it because it was sort of campy, which campy means that like uh it's like a phrase for when something's like a comedy or something like I don't know. If you see the sixties Batman show, that's what it is. It's just like this silly thing. I mean, some parts in it, it, it just tries to joke around and I said, come on guys, I want this to be very serious. And I mean, sometimes it's actually very intense. This was, this movie was just so breathtaking. And some parts were just so intense. Like, like the disaster scenes, they're just so intense. The disaster scenes are very good. But you already said that. Well, anyways, this movie is a pretty good movie. And the only problem I really have with this movie is the dialogue. So, yeah, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and I'll probably give this movie an 8 out of 10 or 7.5 out of 10. So, yeah, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and bye.